What's up, geeks? Come on, don't be a view thief. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep the channel growing and keep these reviews coming. Bucky! Geeks, what's up? We're back with the next figure in the Captain America Wing Bath Wave. I know I call it something different every time. I don't know. I know I call it something every time. I don't know what this bath is called. But anyway, we've got Bucky Barnes, AKA the Winter Soldier, AKA the getting in touch with himself Winter Soldier. And it never occurred to me, even with the reveal and getting the figure, I threw it in the bag and just rushed home. I totally forgot that this has a new arm. So I'm actually really geeked. I wasn't that excited before because I'm like, oh yeah, we're getting another Bucky. But I forgot we get that new Wakanda made black and gold arm. So I'm actually amped because I really dig the way that arm looks. All right, so in the box you see he comes with two extra hands. Thanks for the accessories. He's got one hand for his bionic arm and then he has one hand for his regular arms, fully gloved. And it also comes with a bath piece. <laughs> Sorry. It also comes with a bath piece, and that's a wing tip. Might be the right wing, I guess. I didn't rip this one. Doorstep. Banana. Minion. Austin Powers, Battlestar Galactica, Death Star, Bionic Arm, Booty Shot. It comes with Z Wing Tip, Regular Fist, Break Things Hand. Now, this golden black paint reminds me of Warlock. Hmm, I wonder. Since he doesn't come with a gun, I'm gonna go ahead and swap that open hand out for a fist. How does he not come with a gun? Uh, much better. All right, the Buckster in full effect. Let's take a second to bask in his glory. Keith Lee. When Hasbro revealed this figure, I didn't like the face scan on it, but now that I have it close up, I don't know if what they had was a prototype or if this just looks better in real life, but I'm really digging it. His skin is a little bit unrealistic, the coloring, but the face scan is on point. And the beard looks good. He has a five o'clock shadow, but it really looks like Sebastian Stan. All right, so paint job on this is nice. When you look at his outfit, it looks like shiny leather. It's a nice deep blue. You have the red breaking up here and the black, red stripe there and black. So it's a complicated sculpt. And I like that they didn't cut corners, but it's very shiny and very glossy. When you get to the lower half, it's not quite as glossy. It's a little bit more realistic because leather usually isn't this shiny more. This is more like patent leather. So you get this dull matte look. Then you get down to the boots and the boots are kind of like halfway between the top jacket and the pants. But well done. Paint job is well done. Look at the arm. They could have easily messed those lines up, but everything looks smooth and straight. And actually, yeah, those lines are carved in. They're not just painted on. Ah, me likey. What is that head doing? 360. Do we get tilt? Yep. Yep. Looking down, not very deep. Looks like he's like... Looking up. Arms get up shoulder height. Arm range in and back. Double jointed elbows. You can see he gets really good range there. He can punch himself in the face. He can even punch himself in the face if he wanted to. His joints feel really good. They're nice and stiff. 360 on the armpit. 360 on the bicep. Nothing on the forearm. 
360 at the wrist. Both hands have horizontal hinges, you get good flex. There you go, repulsor blast. Punch to the face. Kiss the ring. Abdominal action. Gets right to it. Old man Bucky. That sweet release. Three sixty at the waist, intermittent clicks, feels real good. Banana split, good range. Bends over almost at a ninety degree angle. You can can, yes you can can. A little bit of kickback, so you see you can get some walking motion there. Double jointed knees, lots of flexibility there. You can easily kick his butt. And you can see he's a prancer. What do you think? Moonwalk or no? Uh, yeah, we'll let him get away with it. He can slide and glide. Rock out. Rock in. 360. Well, my two cents. I like. I like everything about him. Except for his skin. The skin's a little bit off. But I love the outfit, love the paint job, love the face scan. I uh, wish he had come with either some weapons or different hands because those trigger hands are pointless if you don't give us some accessories to use with them. So for him throwing that punch there, it would have been nice to have like a spread open hand with the fingers pointing in the background instead of another fist as opposed to a hand that looks like it's supposed to be holding a rifle. That's one thing there, but other than that, no other complaints there. I'm digging it. He's one of my favorite ones from the wave so far. Well, let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Sound off in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button on the way out. It really helps the channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I put out the next video in this wave and all the other videos that are coming. All right, till next time, Winter Soldier with a good face scan, out.